Hi there, I was looking at this message from Martin and, and reflecting on it and a couple of others that have been similar and just thinking I should, should reply like this because it's much better than, than typing a reply. And so Martin, thank you by, by the way for your message Martin, I really appreciate it, says essentially you shouldn't be in Strictly because you're no good. And I just got two responses to that which I wanted to say because I think it's quite important and one of them is that I promise that I am taking this seriously and not doing it for comedic purposes. So I can think of some competitors in the past who've, who've just done it for a laugh. And I know, I'm well aware that during my dances, excuse the noise of the truck here, during my dances there has been laughter. Um, but it's, it's not been something that I have sought. I've really wanted to dance well. So I'm, I'm trying to get some technique. I always say that Karen started dancing when she was eight, and I started dancing on August the 8th. So it's, it's not easy, but I'm trying. It's the first thing. And the second thing, Martin, which is actually more important, in fact crucial, is that I've got two young daughters, Martha and Anna. They're 11 and 8. And I said to them when I started this, I said, I promise I will really, really work at getting better. I'm not just going to muck around here. I'm going to really be serious about it and try and learn to dance. Now, you might argue that that hasn't gone very well. I think I have improved since the start. But regardless of that, the, the message that I, I don't want them to take away is, is that once our dad thought he couldn't win, he just gave up. So I'm feeling like what I want them to see is that until the very last moment in the contest, until I'm voted out, I will always work at getting better. I'll always try. I'll always be back in the gym. I'm about to go and see Karen now. Sometimes eight, nine hours a day. I'll always, always work. And the fact that I'm not the best is not a reason to give up. And that's true of so much of life. Just because you can't win, doesn't mean you stop working. So to Martin and just a couple of others, and I, I'm saying this very politely and not, you know, I, I, as I say, appreciate your messages, but please understand I have to compete and work and work because I don't want my daughters to see their father say, ah, that's it, why did I ever in, enter it? So have a great day.